Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Before We Work with uh, me, Canon Miko, aka Ocean Crash. And uh, today on Before We Work, I'm actually heading to the coffee shop again with my friend. And um, I wanted to talk about Fallout 76. Um, I just wanted to share my opinions and views on Fallout 76. Uh, in case you guys haven't seen the video, they did that. Uh, they did that trailer at QuakeCon um, with them showing the um, the perk cards and some of the guns, some scenery, um, and the way the perk cards work. And they were mentioning how awesome Charisma is in Fallout 76. Uh, in case you guys don't know, Fallout 76 is a um, is an online MMO version of Fallout. Uh, it's a four-player co-op or a single player or I think it's one or four I think it did two or three as well but it's a squad based MMO um, the biggest uh, controversy controversy slapped uh, slash cannot speak a <laughs> controversy slash <laughs> controversy slash discussion uh, is that there's no NPCs in the game so a lot of people are questioning the game that because of that itself and supposedly there will be there's no human NPCs at least I believe there will be robot NPCs um, and I think that's it um, so that's been the huge topic of discussion and also the biggest one besides the, the NPCs is when will the beta be released um, now if I'm not mistaken if I haven't caught the source there is no release date for the beta yet if there is please let me know <laughs> I have yet to pre-order the game but I'm planning on it just so I can get the beta um, but yeah so um, the game it, 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 it's 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 an interesting game it's an interesting game and as someone who's never really had a squad in any game, you know, the closest thing I've had to a squad is in League of Legends, you know, I had a few guys I always used to play with, but I never had like a group of friends where when a game came out or when something happened, I played with them right away, you know, they played with me and I played with them, that never was a thing for me. So I'm curious to see if there will be like auto-generated squads, if that's an option, or um, I don't know. I'm just curious to see what the options are going to be. Um, and it's just, it's, it's been a huge point of concern for me. Um, and I think, okay, so they also mentioned the karma based system. Um, and this has to do with squads. They mentioned that if you attack another player, then um, then their, their, their karma goes down. And um, if you attack them back, your karma doesn't move. You don't. Your car karma doesn't get rated. But um, uh, but what's it called? Uh, but they become wanted. So if you attack an innocent person whose karma isn't wanted, uh, you become wanted. Um, and there's no supposedly there's no benefit to being wanted. It's just kind of like a thrill thing. People are gonna come chase you down. Um, these are sorry. This guy's not going. Um, things uh, people are gonna come chase you down. And um, also, they also mentioned that if you get killed in Fallout by another player, you don't lose your gear, you lose junk. And the, the topic of discussion around that is now, okay, is junk really that valuable? We all know we've played Fallout uh, before. Junk is kind of valuable and not really valuable in Fallout 4. I mean, there are times, I mean, I spent most of my time in Fallout 4 hoarding adhesives because of how rare it was for me to find adhesives. So I would drop things for, for adhesives, but I would never drop weapons. I, I always hoarded weapons because they, 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 they usually, most of the time, brought in the most return, or I used to steal their mods. So I'm curious how the, you don't lose your gear, you only lose your junk aspect of it, will make the PVP situation of the game. Now, I do like how there's PvP, I do like how it's free roam, I do like how you can get attacked by other people. It kind of adds to the survivalist slash post-apocalyptic-esque 
um, vibe of the game. You know, we always see in movies and shows where when there's a post-apocalyptic era, people are savage. You know, look at Walking Dead; they eat each other, they eat other humans, and like, and like you, which you can do if I'm not mistaken. In, in Fallout 76. Um, and there's just so many things to the game that they've discussed. So I'm curious how that junk remark will will add to the aspect of, um, uh, there was a cop by me. Um, I'm curious how it'll add to the aspect of PVP of squads, you know? Will I really be worth it if you kill me? And how can you determine, like, is there junk loot before level 2 that people don't use, you know, or before level 5 or 10 or 20, or is only the good loot after level 50 or something like that? So I'm curious how that game itself is going to entail, but um, my, I, I've always just, like, been curious on how Fallout 76 um, is going to affect the storyline of and the progression of the game. So, for example... I am, I'm more of a Skyrim guy. I love the, oh man, I love the, the, the pre, pre, uh, machine era vibes. Um, I love like before the pre, I don't know what it's called, the civilization terms, but I always like the pre, pre machine era. And, um, just the use of no tech, well, technology is a general broad term, but the use of, you know, mining rocks and and cutting wood and like and like crafting things i love that whole entire aspect it's the main reason why i like runescape uh i find it very similar to skyrim um be it that they may not be in your turn in your in your vision but i think the only thing that separates runescape from skyrim is that skyrim you control the character differently and in runescape and um that's it um, you both have skill lines. You can craft and bring potions and do all that stuff. You can do the same thing in RuneScape. There's literally no difference. The only difference is that you get dragon powers in Skyrim and in RuneScape you don't. They all have large amounts of quest logs. They're really the same thing to be honest with you. Um, graphics are different as well. So um, not, not really huge difference there. Um, so and I just like that part of it. So my only issue is I, I digress. Uh, my only issue is that we, what we saw with Skyrim was they released Skyrim. They did so well on Skyrim that they postponed the storyline. What was it? Five years, six years Skyrim came out. And then the way, how do they supplement the, the, the postponement of Skyrim? You had Skyrim HD, Skyrim PS4, Skyrim PC, Skyrim all these things. You had Skyrim, and they're coming out Skyrim for for the, uh, the, the what's it called? The Nintendo uh, Switch, uh, Skyrim VR, and it's like, I'm tired of Skyrim. Like, we get it. You guys are cash cropping off of Skyrim because it did so well, but like, move on, you know? Um, and they, they did finally announce a new, a new Elder Scrolls. So that is... Thank God, no more Skyrim. I mean, I, I love Skyrim, don't get me wrong, but I've played the heck out of that game, and I play ESO online. Different vibes, but is still fun, but it's nothing compared to Skyrim, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so, <laughs> done with Skyrim. I'm scared they're gonna do the same thing with Fallout. Like, Fallout 5 isn't gonna come out for another six years because, you know, Fallout did good. They're gonna cash crop off of it, even though, it didn't do as good as Skyrim. That's completely didn't do as good as Skyrim. But I'm scared that Fallout 76 might do good at, in its in its category, and it'll push back the production of Fall. It'll push back the production of Fallout 5, and we won't get a Fallout for a while. And um, I'm just curious where that takes us. Um, I, I do like the the online versions. They did ESO online. They're obviously going to do Fallout 76 online. Um, they are trying to tap into the MMO world. They're trying to tra tap into the to the uh, to the market-based economy. To the sorry, the microtransaction-based economy. So I'm just curious how that's going to take us for Fallout 76. I have a lot of questions, a lot of concerns. If you guys have any information regarding Fallout 76, um, some cool things that I may not have mentioned in this video that I, I missed. Um, Tag it, comment it down below. I'd love to get you know more more in touch with Fall seventy six and any other any other piece of information that I've missed. I know IGN does some pretty good coverage on it. They have this post that they just constantly update. Um, I know the game is going to be released in November of this year for Xbox One first, 
and then PC and PS4. So no cross play as well. They said no cross play simply because of Sony is not really allowing it. So that's my take on Fallout 76 guys. I'm really excited to see the future of Fallout 76. I'm really, I, I'm ready to invest my time into it. Um, it seems like a cool game. It's, it's the type of games I like to play. Um, just for an example, I play Warframe now. I play RuneScape. Uh, what else do I play? <laughs> I think that's it. Uh, Warframe and RuneScape. Um, <laughs> uh, I play Trove sometimes when I have the time. Um, and then some other single player games. I play League of Legends infrequently. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I do love the survival game. I did, I, I have maxed the crap out of Guild Wars 2. Uh, I, I've, I've, I've played a lot of games. I love, I've played Fortnite, I've played PUBG. I'm huge in the gaming industry. Um, so it, it's, it's not something where I don't play games. I've played a fair share more than the average gamer. So I'm excited for Fallout 76. Oh, and I play ESO, <laughs> uh, infrequently as well. So, all right guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my before we work. Um, I'm almost at my coffee shop, 10 minutes away. Make sure you drink your cup of coffee or your tea and check out the description. I updated the descriptions for all my videos now. Um, they have followed a new rubric or new template. I, uh, I linked in my marketing work. So if you wanna you know, hire me for some work, I'm up on Fiverr now. Um, you can check out the descriptions. I'm working on updating my Fiverr. I just, I'm slow process, I'm a very busy guy. Uh, slow process. I have my coffee shop information down below and soon I will link in a new project that I'm working on down below two new projects. So until then guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Before